welcome, Crossridge kids. I hope you are all comfy and ready to spend time together today. What are some things that you think of when I say the word Christmas? Maybe you think of away in a manger, or maybe you think of silent night. When we hear our Bible story today, see if you notice some of these words or words that you thought of. But first, let's sing and dance and worship the Lord together.
there was nothing that we could do We're changed by your blood You're making all things new With your spirit in us We're sealed for a life of the Bible called the Gospels. The Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all tell of when God sent Jesus to earth from heaven. Like all the stories in the books of the Bible, this story is true. And in today's Bible story, we hear about the birth of the most important baby ever, baby Jesus. Jesus was not like other babies. Jesus is God's son. God sent Jesus to earth from heaven, and Jesus came into the world to rescue people from their sins. Let's watch the story to see where God's Son was born. Mary and Joseph lived in the town of Nazareth. During the time Mary was pregnant, the Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus announced that everyone needed to be registered for a census. Since Joseph was a descendant of King David, he and Mary traveled to Bethlehem, the city of David. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have her baby. Mary and Joseph looked for a safe place to stay, but every place was full. So Mary and Joseph found a place where animals were kept, and that is where Mary had her baby. Joseph named him Jesus. Mary wrapped the baby tightly in cloth and laid him in a feeding trough. That night, some shepherds were watching over their sheep in the fields near Bethlehem. Suddenly, an angel stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. The angel said, 
don't be afraid. I have very good news for you and for all the people. Today, a Savior, who is the Messiah and the Lord, was born for you in the city of David. Then the angel said, you will find a baby wrapped tightly in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a whole army of angels appeared, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to people he favors. When the angels left and returned to heaven, Ooh. the shepherds decided to go see if the angels' words were true. They hurried to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the feeding trough. Then the shepherds went and told others about the baby Jesus. Everyone who heard about Jesus was surprised and amazed. Mary thought about everything that was happening and tried to understand it. The shepherds returned to their fields, praising God because everything it happened just as the angel said. The birth of Jesus was good news. Jesus was not an ordinary baby. He is God's son, sent to earth from heaven. Jesus, the promised savior, came into the world to deliver us from sin and death. God planned all along to send his son to earth as a human baby. God knew his people would sin and need to be rescued. Jesus was born to rescue people from sin. And Jesus lived a sinless life on earth. He kept God's law perfectly so that one day he could take the punishment we deserve for our sins. Today we're going to be building an angel. This is a printout of an angel. We're going to start to color it. If you can, look around the house to see maybe you can add sparkles or you can add stickers. After you color, we're going to cut it out. So let's cut it out. Go all around the edge. Be very careful. Once you are done cutting, now we're going to take a look at these two tabs. We're going to bend them around the back and staple them together. If you don't have staples, we can use glue or tape. And then you could stand it up or put it on your hand as a hand puppet. A Savior has been born to you. We need some scissors and some glue and we need some pencil crayons. And then what we need is our printed sheet. So this is the story, but it's flat. It's flat as you see. All right, so what we have to do is we're gonna have to color this, then cut it out and glue it together to make this, we're gonna have our little story ball. Okay, let's do the coloring. All right, now we can cut it out. What you have to do is you have to cut on the dark lines. So these things here are tabs. They're for gluing later. We don't have to color the tabs, but we need be able to cut them out. So there's a line that goes from here and goes all the way to this corner. We have to cut that out. Now what I need you to do is everything has to be folded with a mountain fold. So every Every line that you see, every single line, including the tabs, gets a little fold.
So there you go. Everything has been folded. So we're pretty close to getting a nice little ball. But to make it easier, we're going to glue these five, these six together, and we're going to glue these six together. And then we're going to bring it together like a clamp. Okay? So let's add our glue. Glue every tab. Press and hold. That's going to be tricky. We got to get our finger out of here. All right, the last two just got to go. Do a little bit of help here. Press and hold. All right, we have a cube or a a dodecahedron. All right, let's read our story. Caesar Augustus wanted to count the people. Mary and Joseph go to Bethlehem. No room in the inn. Jesus was born in a manger. Shepherds were out in the field at night. Okay. Suddenly, an angel stood by them. Let's find seven. Don't be afraid, the angel said. The Savior has been born. You will find him in Bethlehem, lying in a manger. Suddenly, many angels said, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, goodwill to men. When the angels left the shepherds, the shepherds ran to Bethlehem. They found Jesus just as the angels said. Mary stored these things in her heart. Jesus the Savior was born. Luke 2, verse 1 to 20. I hope you enjoyed building this Christmas ball. The birth of Jesus was good news. Jesus was not an ordinary baby. He is God's son sent to earth from heaven. So is Jesus God or a human? As the Son of God, Jesus is both fully God and fully human. Jesus, the promised Savior, came into the world to deliver us from sin and death. It might seem a little funny to be talking about the Christmas story in May, but although we celebrate Jesus' birth at Christmas, it is important for us to remember it all the time. Why don't you find a creative way to make the Christmas story at your house? Use some Lego or some Play-Doh. We would love to see your creations, so make sure to send us a picture at kids at crossroadschurch.ca or tag us on Instagram. Also, have an adult check out crossroadkids.ca for this week's activity pages. Let's pray together. Lord, we echo the words of the angels, and they say glory to God in the highest. God, we thank you so much for the story of Christmas and how it changes every single day of our lives. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus. We pray that you would help us to remember this this week. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, Merry Christmas. Just joking. I mean, happy spring and have a great week.